Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about HTML form. The first one, you will know how to make HTML form, making controller. Actually, making controller, we have already uh, did it, done it for many time. But in here, we have to learn it again. We create raw view and push. You will understand about push and the last one is getting the form data so you will know in detail when i have an example so let's go to the getter here is my project now i start to create one controllers hp artisan mix controller my controller name is user controller. We just put in touch. We go to apps controllers. Yes, I write one function here. Yes. Function, and then I put function name like get data. I oh, sorry. then I return some string here's form that does save it and I create one row for this function I go to row and web which is right row Yet we put the UR users and then we put class name users class three and then function name is get that task. So here's this function. I save it. Okay, and now I uh, go to resource and view. I create one use calls. We name it login dot let dot php. I write some string here. So. Here is login page. Save it. Now I create one row for the use. We go to here. Create another one. Sorry, use. We put the URLs. I just put log in. And then in here you names lock in let this with me so oh, in here is just php addition self test with login okay that's fine now I'll write some HTML code in login here okay. form input type text I put names these usernames and placeholder input user names okay and 
Okay, one more. Import tab password. Name car password. Sorry, user password. Place holder. Input password. One more is I use button. So in here we call login. Login and then we put page submit. Okay. So in here we need inform we need to put action. At pen action here we put the URL URL here. We put user here in order to uh, get that in, in order to run this function. So in here we put the, this URL. You copy this action and the method you put push. Why we put the method Push because we want to push all, all the data to the controller. So, is the URLs is in browse here, and then we run the function in this controller. So, don't forget in import the controller. Use app http sorry slash controller slash controller names call user controllers okay that friends So let's test together with here. I need to save this and refresh it. Yes. So I need to put it down. Mm, maybe. I'll refresh it. Okay. Just put one more. Okay, and we just write rotash one, two, three. So maybe something wrong. Okay, we did not put the tokens. Here is very important C S R F token. I need to refresh it again. Oh, method post here. So, is the method post here? We need to change here also post. Is it in this get the method? The, the, the method here is also get. But here you post, in here we should change to post. I refresh it again. Okay, maybe the pages errors is because of if I use the token it in uh, incorrect place, so I put in yes. You see, okay. Let me refresh it again. Log in. Uh, one, two, three. 
Okay, form data here. It's correct. So now mm, I want to show the data that we input from login form here. We go to the controller and here we get the we get the request. So request then parameter okay so return here i put this okay save it then i refresh it i try it again one two three yes it's correct you see here yes. it is token and here is the user and password Okay, thank you. In the next video, I will show you how to do login form like insert to database and get data authentication. Yes, basically, it's just a basic uh, lesson. So, we will learn more with the next video. Thank you for watching.